guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today I'm here to set up my new A5 planner agenda. I'm super excited. Um, this is my first ring planner ever. I've been eyeing it for a long time and I just, I'm just ready for a change. I'm ready for something new. I've always used ring planners. Um, started with Happy Planner. Then I did move into a couple of uh, different companies, including cloth and paper um, for my ring, my half letter planner. But now I'm ready to use a ring planner. And so I got this one from the Facebook group. Um, which I was, I was really excited, um, especially trying it out for the first time. I was not ready to just purchase one from the cloth and paper uh, website just because, you know, they, they are a little pricey. And so um, this was definitely a great bundle that I found on um, the Facebook group. And it's just a great way to start my journey with... Um, a5 planners so this is the contour uh black agenda it is the one with the black rings which i think are absolutely gorgeous um and so like i said i did get a little bundle so she sent over a lot of things i'm super grateful um so that way i can try it out and see like what are the answers that i like and what are the things that i need um so let's just go ahead and get started. Um, in my last video, I did show you um, the things that I purchased from the cloth and paper website. And so those are the things that I'll be using. Again, the things that she sent in the bundle. And then I did print out, I think like three uh, dashboards, which I'll show you in a second. Um, okay, so starting with dividers, um, the person that sold this to me did send a lot and i'm not going to use all of them because i don't want it to get super bulky um now i'm trying to be more intentional with my planner and so i'm not going to place things in here just because or if i'm not sure what i want to use it then i'm just not going to put it in um, i'm only putting the things in that i know i have a need for or that i want to implement and so I'm going to start with um, Goals and Ideas. This is also going to be a journaling part of my planner. Then I am going to add finances because um, I am in the process of purchasing a house. And so I want to be more intentional and more focused with when it comes to finances. And I want to have a part in my planner just um, for those goals. Lists and then schedule. I think those are the only ones that I'll be using. Um, this set did come with miscellaneous and projects, which when we do our move and all that, I'll probably be adding projects um, because I have a lot of things like that I'm thinking about already. And so... When it comes to the time, I'll add it. I just want to have things that I don't have an immediate um, purpose for. Um, my schedule, I am going to be dividing it into sections um, because I have the monthly pages and I also have uh, daily pages. So I'm going to use, where is the first? This is the first divider. And then she also sent over the today, um, which I'll use for my daily sheets the day that I'm in. So this is gonna go in the schedule. And you probably noticed um, my voice is a little bit off today. Allergies are attacking me once again. It's like the never ending story for me. Okay, so let's go in with inserts, yeah. So again, she sent over a lot of things. I have some notes paper, I have my uh, monthly sheets and daily, so I'm gonna grab those real quick. I also got password tracker, which yes, I need that. Habit tracker, that will be good for me. And there's more things. There's a um, spending tracker as well which will be perfect for my 
finances portion, and then some notes paper. Okay, so I took out the main pieces that I wanted to use. We're gonna start with our schedule. Um, I'm gonna first add, these are just a monthly. And so we have the rest of the year here. This is the divider that I'm gonna use between the monthly and the daily. I do not have a weekly, um, and I don't. I'm not going to purchase it for this pana for now because I still have my half letter that I do love it, um, and so I am gonna keep it. And these are the weeklies. I'm only gonna keep like ten, or yeah, I don't know, three. I don't have that many, so I'll just keep them all. Okay. Oh, I need this today to be in front of it. Okay. Then for list, our next section. Okay, password tracker. And then habit tracker. And those. I think I put like two of each. Okay. Then we have cleaning chores. And I was debating on which section I want to put this. Um, I think I'm going to put it here. Eventually, I think this will go in my project um, just because of the move. Um, I'm like decluttering a lot. So this is going to be very helpful for that process. Okay. Then let's go into finances. So I have purchase tracker. And then... I'm just going to add some notes paper. Just because I, I don't know, I need to figure out how I'm going to do this or like what things I'm going to do for my finances. Um, so I'm just going to put that there. I'll probably watch some videos on YouTube of how other people kind of track their stuff or like set it up. Okay, so for my last section, I have this journaling inserts which i think are really cool they have some questions here um and then they're half have a page so i'm really excited about that i'm gonna put them all in here and then i'm just gonna add some more notes paper so i have two different types i have this one um that i've actually used in my half letter um and then just some dotted, just plain dot grid. Okay. So that's the important stuff. And then I did want to show you um, what my schedule is looking for, like my schedule part is looking like. So these are just the monthly inserts. Um, and I really like them. Um, because it has like for me the most important things that I need in a monthly and those are my bills important dates um, and that could be from time off or birthdays or special events um, here I put like my main things that I want to accomplish that month and this I've like used it different ways I've um, some months that I don't really have a goal for that month I'll put like a quote to like just for inspiration um, or just like, like for this month, especially, I'm going to put like the main goals, the things that I have to take care of um, this month. And then here, it's more like a detailed of this stuff. Sometimes 
I haven't obviously decorated in this one because it's my first time using it, but I do decorate a little bit in my half letter. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that in this planner. I wanted to keep it a little more functional and more like straight to the point. And so again, each month right here for the rest of the year. And then the dailies, I'm not gonna use one every day. It's mainly uh, days that I have to schedule a lot of things or have a lot of things to do. I have this one and it's front and back. Okay. So those are the answers. Let's go ahead and start playing with dashboards. So I got some cloth and paper. And then I also printed these three from my Minimal Planner. Um, she, I love her page um, and web page. Um, so she has freebies. All these are freebies. Uh, she also has her own website where I have purchased dashboards in the past. Um, but all these three were free. So I just printed them. Um, this one's on vellum paper and this one is on just like bright, um, I made, I'll just link the paper that I used. I bought it on Amazon and it's just white paper. It is very soft, very buttery. I just printed it, cut it with my paper cutter, and then I use um, this hole puncher to hole punch the pages. And now I have three new dashboards and then the rest of them are cloth and paper. So the first one, the first thing I wanna use is this Packet holder or card holder. I want this right in the front of my planner. Okay, so I took out some some cards, some journaling cards, and then these cashmere page flags, which I really don't use because um, I'm like hoarding them. So I'm just gonna put it here, just like as decor. I have some that I like use and then some like this one that I don't like my Prosecco one I definitely do not touch that um, just because it's hard to find I put it on this one. Oh. oh it's the front okay wait okay yeah I had it backwards no I want it on this side Okay, then I did get the June card in my order, so that was kind of neat. Um, and I think I'm gonna put it here. Okay, and then I took out two more. Minimalism, and then this one um, I'm going to layer the return we reap from generous action is not always evident. And I'm going to put this one up here. And then this one here. And that will be the goal for this planner, just keeping it minimal and functional. Okay, so that's gonna go in the front. Now I do want something behind it. And so I got inbox that I ordered. This one's gonna go in my weekly section. Uh, not weekly, my like schedule. And then this came with the bundle that I bought. And then this one, I think I wanna use do all things with love and intention. Do need I want to fill them as well. I'm gonna layer it. What if we do with these three? Let's try it out. 
So, something you know about me is that my planner will go through changes all throughout the month until I figure out the best. Um, I like changing things out. And so, you'll see that it will not stay the same. Okay, so I'm liking it, not in love. The other option would be putting these two. Okay. I'm going to keep it like that and then try these if I don't like it. Okay, so then I want to put my inbox. Again, this is from cloth and paper. Wait, I want to put sticky notes and stuff in front of it first. Okay, so I took out a couple of things that I have. This memo one. I need to buy more of this one. I find myself using this one the most. And then I did want to add some transparent ones. I think I'm going to use this one. This is a Moscow. Moscow? I think that's how you say it. And then no, I'm not going to add that one. I might just keep it like that yeah we'll keep it like that for now oh you know what I want to do I want to add some type of journaling card so like too big these are the ones that I just got I like this one but I might need to put it at the top yeah so what I'm gonna do is switch things around Bring memo down here. Okay, this needs to go here. Gold paper clip. Ooh, I also have black to black. Okay, I'm gonna move this one more time. Okay, I like that. And I like these colors for summer. Okay. Um, so that's my inbox. Okay, I'm just gonna close it, look at it, get it to process. Okay. Schedule. We are going to add this um, yearly, year at a glance, dashboard from cloth and paper. And again, this is one of those uh, vellum ones. Perfect. 
Fake Vellum. Okay. So we got that. And then I do have my divider here. So do I want to add a dashboard? Maybe we'll add this one. see something how would this one look in the front no just add it okay Yes, yeah, so I like that there. Then we have our list section. And then I'm going to come back to this. I know that I want this one and finances consistency is key. Again, this is the one that I printed out from my planner, my minimal planner. Yes. Goals, I'm not going to put anything because it already has this one, that. Okay, so list is the only one that doesn't have something. So then I come back over here and I might just move these out, put these two oops, got my sweater caught. Yeah, much better. Um, just looking at the journaling cards. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I do like this how it is. Maybe do we add mm -hmm. I think we'll add this onto list. Yeah, and I kinda like how Hello Kitty looks in front of it. We'll leave them together. Let's work on pockets real quick. So, let's see some of the things I have here. Put there maybe. Not label, but layer those two. Mm -hmm. 
I also ordered these on Amazon. I'll just link all the things that I've used in this planner that I got from Amazon. I want to put it like that. My paper cup here. Okay, I like that. And I'm like liking this color. Put that there. Okay. I have two out right now that I could use. I'm leaning towards the white one more just for like contrast. Oh, this is maybe not gonna work. She doesn't know because it's so like long this piece. I feel like I need to clip it to this back here. The only problem with using the black clips is that they do mark your, like, oh, so bad. Okay, let's try this then. The original plan. I think that's better. Um, because it's being held back back here. Okay, I like that. Um, and this is another one that I got a while back. I like it with the iced coffee there. I'm just gonna have it stick out like that. I could always put something else here. Actually, stickers. Um, which one was to nude and black? Um, where's this one? I'll just says two and then okay one change that I want to do is put these page box here um, but before that I'm gonna add some to my inbox um, because I do like using these to mark special days in my calendar so I'm gonna put them here this way, so it's easier for me to take out. Okay, and then we'll put these in here. Perfect. Okay, I like that more. Okay, so we got that. I like this layering here. schedule section with my year at a glance got my monthlies here which I need to work on June then our second section in our schedule is our dailies and then we go to our next section which is list and I do like I wish this Hello Kitty would print higher but I think it's cute. Do all things with love and intention. Seems like the the word of this next part of my life is intention. So I kind of really like that. OK, 
Okay, all those functional things. We got finances, finances section. I feel like this is perfect because this is his key. And again, I'll be adding to this. Um, and then goals and ideas. And then I got just journaling paper. Okay, let's add a pen. And I think this might be it. I really, really, I'm so excited for this planner, guys. Um, I've been eyeing A5 planners for a long time. And so I'm just really glad that I'm making the jump. I know that, I, oh my God, my my planner jur uh, journey has been, it's been, it's been um, a really big changes. Starting with Happy Planner, very colorful, which don't get me wrong, I still love that when it comes to my t-shirt planner. Um, and you'll see that when we go back to school. But when it comes to like my personal planner, the one that I keep at home and um, this one, I think I'm gonna like, take around with me especially uh with my finances section and purchasing the house and like all the things that come with that i like keeping it way more neutral and just more like sophisticated and um i don't know more simple and so i'm really really excited to incorporate uh this to my planner lineup and so let's close up we're done i really hope you guys like this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you guys on the next one.